What is the crack, lads? Welcome back. We've got another pack review. We've got a Belgium from the national team selection here. 900 coins. I think the Belgium and the Portuguese packs that they've released, I genuinely think that they are very strong. I would say that the Portuguese pack is one of the best packs uh, for this 900 because you've got Spain and Netherlands as well as England and Germany. I would probably say that the Portuguese pack uh, is a very strong one. So if you want to check out the review of that, make sure and check it out on the channel. But for today, we are going to be focusing on Belgium. I also have every other pack reviewed all the way from Brazil, Japan, all of these, the French, everything. Everything you see here is reviewed, lads. We've been smashing out the reviews of the players and trying to recommend whether they're worth spinning for or worth buying the packs for. So Belgium have got a nice selection of players, right? I think the biggest thing with Belgium is Kevin De Bruyne. I would have liked to have seen uh, a couple of these players be kind of like iconic moment players. I think it would have been a nice little bonus for buying these packs. Um, because especially when they're giving away a lot of free five-star players. I mean, the players, like between a 90-rated player and a 94-rated player or 95-rated player, it isn't a massive deal. I think the biggest things with these cards now are their, you know, their form, unwavering form. And with the Legend of the Iconic Moment versions, they obviously are locked on B uh, rating. Whereas with these, all these cards are C rating. So if a player doesn't have unwavering form, you know, they're not going to be really worth it, in my opinion. And there's a lot of the Belgian players that don't have it. So we are going to start with Batshuayi. Uh, a very good goal poacher, not bad in stats, not bad in uh, playing with him. I've actually played with him on my Xbox profile. He's not a bad player, lads. He does go up to an 89 overall with the way that we train him up. We do have him over here on eFootballDB. You will see there. Nice player skills, super sub, obviously, as well as a big one. A lot of these players have different kind of player skills and stuff. Super sub, but the inconsistent form is a big killer on this card. And this is what I'm saying. You're going to be, you know, struggling to get this guy into matches because he's just going to be down more often than not, right? But he has got good player skills, long ranger for his play style as well. And then, you know, he does boost up with the 50 progression points, 26 levels. He does boost up to fairly decent speed and acceleration, good balance, good head and ability. You could look... I I mean because he's a bit smaller you're kind of wasting your time uh having a player in like this that's a bit small uh, that doesn't have like really like exceptional head and ability um you know because you can just buy a taller player like yang collar or you know if you do have a player that you want to buy that's a fairly beast uh in the air i think this guy is going to want to be played on the ground you know and i think as a running gun striker there is better than him he's probably one of the weaker guys here on the squad selection uh we've also got the dunker we'll look at him in a second and hazard but witzel as well yeah witzel is a very kind of average player i think he has got some really good player skills obviously any dmf or uh, cmf that has blocker and interception you need to kind of you know have a look at it in more detail and see what he could actually develop into but he's just super slow man he just doesn't suit my play style at all um i mean you could have him as a sergio busquets type type player as an anchorman if you're playing him just as an absolute you know all out uh defender he would not be a bad option at all like genuinely i think a lot of these players you can have them in a very very kind of you know you can train him up in very different ways like we have him here right we've got 46 progression points um and we would just be turning him you know into a defensive monster in the de in the defensive part of the field or the the main kind of like anchorman role right he doesn't have the pace you're not going to get that pace in uh, his card no matter what you do so you're better off just focusing on passing which you can get to 90 low pass and 85 lofted and then you can get his aggression uh, up really really high as well you can pump up this a little bit you can pump that up to four you can pump that up to four you don't need to worry too much about his acceleration because you're not going to get that up past 60 unless you want to spend more points in that. And then you can just decide where you want to put the rest of it. You know, I would probably stick a couple in dribble um, to have a really, you know, good on-ball dribbler uh, that you could use. You still have one extra point that you can put into passing so you can get that 91 low pass. It's not a bad card. Obviously, the pace is something that you, you're you going to have to look past. And he does have unwavering form. He is one of the only players in this Belgian pack that does have unwavering form. Um, we also do have Courtois, we'll focus on him in a second, Mounier and Constanga and Vertonghen um, and Lukaku. So they're the guys that we'll just gloss over and then we'll focus on the rest of the guys over on eFootballDB. So Mounier is kind of a bit of an interesting choice, right? He's got a load of player skills, he's got standard form, um, but he's got early crosser and he also does have pinpoint crossing, which if you are using a lot of crosses or you're, you know, using a lot of target men in the box... 
he is a very good player. I would play him right mid um, to have that more, you know, he's not going to be the best defensive right back, uh, but he can play left mid or right mid and that's where I would play him he doesn't have massive pace he does have good speed and good engine on him so you could get up and down the pitch you could also man mark one of the wingers to get back and help out his defensive um, capabilities will be able to come in there so he's a fairly good player if you wanted to top up your squad and this guy also is kind of the yin to his yang he's a bit faster he doesn't have um he does have early crosser, but he doesn't have pinpoint crossing. So this guy's more of an engine, more of a defender. Uh, so if you are looking for a, a very solid right back, you could have, you know, this guy on the right flank um, and you could have Munia on the right wing and you could have very good players going forward. Bo can cross the ball, Bo can pass the ball, Bo can get up and down the pitch. Munia can go back and help out. So any frailties that he'd have would be able to be covered. Vertonghen, apart from his lack of pace, he does have excellent defensive stats when you train him up. He also has man marking slide and tackle but he doesn't have interception or blocker which is a bit of a pity on this card i definitely think he should have um his passing and his on ball ability is quite decent as well so he's not the worst and then we've got lukaku who yeah lukaku's got like that inconsistent form um so that's going to be a big problem on his card he does have track back so you'll need to play counter target on him to keep him up in the center forward position now look he can bang him in for you 89 physical contact uh is is quite decent kicking power is quite decent heading is quite decent and offensive awareness is quite decent but yeah i just think that there's so many different and better players than lukaku i mean buy yang collar from the box if you are the free uh, coins if you want to get him somebody like that so moving on to the the, the, the pick of these guys right we are going to start with the dunker who we have here over on eFootballDB.com. So there's two ways you can train up then Donker. You can turn him into like kind of a, an all-rounder or else you can just kind of like really improve his defense capabilities and get that up. I think he's a fairly average CMF. If you are using him as a DMF, I think Witzel is probably better. Um, this guy also has standard form. Um, he does have interception, which is quite good. But other than that, I think that there's a lot better DMFs out there than him. Uh, we've also got Hazard, who is one of the picks of him here. Hazard's got absolutely incredible stats here. Like his regular card, lads, his pace is way down compared to this guy. Um, well, it's not way down. Like it's minus two and minus two on the speed. But that makes a big difference when you are actually playing with him because you are going to be able to have those extra points, as you see there. They both have, this guy's got 29 levels. This guy's got 31 levels. Um, Hazard is a good player in the game. I think he definitely gets slept on, but... You're going to have that perfect balance here where you do have all the passing skills and the dribbling skills that you could possibly need. He also has speeding bullet as his play style. Um, and then you're talking about like 90 ball control, 90 dribbling, 86 tight possession, 90 acceleration and 97 balance. Incredible. So he kind of plays a bit like Messi. You're going to have to be able to finesse shot a lot with him. But that inconsistent form again, as you see over here, form one, that's a big, big problem on this card. We also have Tillsman. Tillsman, one of my favorite players in Pez, going back through the Master Leagues, I used to always buy him when he was like 17, 18. Um, he was an absolute beast. And again, you can see the stats there, lads. Absolutely incredible stats. He's got two form as well. We've trained him up a little bit different than we probably would usually train him up, but we've just turned him in kind of an AMF. He's not really got the best engine on him, and especially with his aggression and defensive engagement. I boosted this small bit up, but yeah, you're not going to be focusing too much on him as you're kind of box to box like you know Goretzka will be a lot better or DePaul or Canales or somebody like that we've got Courtois Courtois goes to a fairly you know decent 92 reflexes and 87 clearing 86 catching his awareness and goalkeeper reach are the only things that let this card down um and you can see even his uh you know special edition that they released earlier in the year uh they're fairly yeah fairly you know on par with what we're getting here i mean his standard card is quite good as well that's got 16 levels this has got 15 so you are going to get this this is probably the best version of him that you're going to get apart from uh this one here but yeah you are going to be able to get pretty identical to this like you can see here between the two versions that they release it's an identical card but the reflexes on the belgium national team are better by three and on, and worse by um three on this card and he's got better reach on that one and worse reach on this one so they're pretty identical cards the only difference obviously being that he's got 90 play style proficiency and then last but not least we have the reason you should be getting this pack if you are going to get this pack and you already don't have the manchester city pack from way back when right absolutely unbelievable card lads one of the best in the game i have the brine i have this version of him the man city pack here and he's incredible i also i think i have 
this one that I got, or I got one of his standard cards in a free spin as well. I mean, he's got an unbelievable uh, card, lads, but you have to be able to use him very well, right? He's got unwavering form. We know that he's going to be a beast on the ball. We've trained him up. His 79 dribbling is perfect. Don't worry about that as an AMF. All you need to do is get the ball and be able to shoot, be able to pass, and be able to one-touch pass onwards like through your through the pitch, through the lines. Speed and acceleration are fine. Um, there are better like pace your attacking midfielders, but they don't have the blend of shooting, passing, and uh balance and stamina that De Bruyne has you know and he's also able to be very aggressive on the ball he kind of is like Pedri he plays above his stats like 96 overall an incredible card and yeah he's probably the pick of the Belgian card so that is it lads let me know what you guys think of the Belgian card uh Belgian pack uh obviously they're having a bit of a bit of a wobble with the World Cup they've been poor in the World Cup so far um but this is a fairly decent pack we'll be back with the portuguese pack quite soon lads hope you're enjoying these reviews let me know if you're going to spin or skip and i will talk to you in a bit peace